Bonnie, happy Tuesday night. We have got a very scientific video going on here. I am doing Battle of the Hand Hygiene. I have got eight, eight soaps, including Goose Creek, Bath and Body Works, and Scentworks, which I ordered, obviously. Then I picked up five hand soaps from the grocery store. I got my receipt here, so I know what I paid for them. We're going to figure out which one of these does the best job. So I'm going to start with the one I liked the least. What the heck is this stuff? So I'm in the hand soap aisle, perusing the aisle. I'm looking for all kinds of neat stuff. Um, this is the Dove. It's five times moisturizing hand wash. It was $3.79. Now, I got to say, the price on the grocery store brands, for the most part, is a lot less expensive. Um, the Dove is actually 10.1 ounces, so it's a pretty big bottle. And I actually like the bottle. I'm like, oh, this is kind of a neat bottle. I had a hard time getting the pump up, and then it's actually uh, pretty liquidy on my hand, not as fluffy as Bath & Body Works, and it's supposed to be... Oh, it's supposed to be warm, uh, warm vanilla and cane sugar. It smells like burnt rubber, you guys. I'm like, what the heck is this? It did not smell good at all. I'm like, this is a definite no for me. I think I'm just, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'll put it in the basement. <laughs> I'll give it to my husband. I did not like that one at all. The next one that I wasn't super crazy about I got the seventh generation mandarin orange and grapefruit. Now, this is a little bit of a conundrum because, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. So it smells really strong. It smells just like grapefruit and orange. However, I thought the formula was a little bit runny. Um, you can see in my hand there, it's a clear formula. Um, not a lot of good bubble action, and it just, it didn't feel like my hands were getting very clean. It just felt like it was, like, just sliming over everything, and it just went down the drain. Um, I know 7th Generation is a little bit more of a, um, you know, earth-friendly soap. It is, what does it say, uh, USD certified bio-based product. Uh, sin no synthetic fragrances. It smells amazing. It smells just like orange and uh, grapefruit, but I just didn't like the formula. I have to like the formula on a soap. I also like really seeing that whole antibacterial thing. It just makes me feel better. So next up in the grocery store arena, we had the Giant Eagle Limited Edition Coconut Lime Liquid Hand Soap. Check this one out. This one actually has, fr it's free of parabens, phthalates, triclosan, and no animal testing. This was the most economical one. This one was only a dollar. So at Giant Eagle, they usually do like 10 for 10. So if you're looking for a really inexpensive soap, Giant Eagle is the way to go. However, it really doesn't have a scent. It's got a very light, Maybe like lime jello scent. I did not get any coconut out of this at all. It's a kind of pretty green. Um, I will use this up, but I wasn't like overly excited about this one. I feel like it is a $1 soap. That's what it feels like to me. <laughs> Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. In a pinch, you know, it's soap. Um... Next up, I got the Dial Complete Antibacterial Kills 99% of Bacteria. Now, keep in mind, bacteria are different than viruses. Um, so this has the benzyl colonium chloride antibacterial in it. Um, this one actually made my hands burn. <laughs> it's actually aloe. Um... I wasn't super thrilled with it. I had like a little cut on my hand. I thought it made my finger burn. I was not like over the top thrilled. I do use Dial soap. I mean, I'm not opposed to Dial. I just wasn't overly impressed. Um, the price of the Dial soap, what was the price of the Dial soap? Um, the Dial was, I don't even have the Dial. Oh, here, $1.50. Okay, it's $1.50 soap. <laughs> an upgrade from the Giant Eagle one. It kind of felt like a $1.50 soap. Um, by the way, the seventh generation was the most expensive of the grocery store at $3.99. So then 
we move into my four favorites. So the Method soap. I love Method. I'll have to say, I feel like this is like an upscale, um, big box or grocery store brand. This one is the um, Lemon Mint. I've never tried Lemon Mint before I got this one. I like it. It smells nice in the kitchen. It's got a nice lemon minty scent. And unlike the Dove, um, the foam is nice. It's a soft, creamy foam. And I feel like it doesn't dry my hands out. I felt like the two inexpensive ones definitely dried my hands out more. My hands felt like they felt kind of raw after I used them. Um, seventh generation just didn't feel like anything. And the Dove, as far as moisturizing, I didn't really even get any moisturizing. I just didn't like the Dove at all. I do like the method. I bought these over um, the holidays uh, for Christmas. They had the Christmas versions. I will get the method again. I like having one of these in the kitchen. My absolute favorite soaps of this grouping are definitely um, the Goose Creek, the Bath and Body Works, and the Scent Works. My mother's over here waving her hand. She absolutely loves the scent work. Yes, <laughs> she's clapping. She started using the holiday chair one and she was like, this is doing something wonderful for her hand. She felt like, um, look at how nicely the foam stands up here. It's not squishy like the other ones. And it smells amazing. This Holiday Cheers, oh my gosh, I don't even know what's in this, but it does smell so, so good. <gasps> Holy moly, it's lemon peel, juicy orange, blended with peach nectar and sweet sugar. It's a moisture-rich formula. Um, I, it's hard to do the price on these. I think they're like $7.50 retail. However, we always get like a deal at Kohl's, but I'm going to order some more Scentwork soap for my mom because she's like, this is her favorite soap. She likes that better than the Bath and Body Works, actually. Makes your hands feel good. Yes. She said it makes her hands feel good. Like she felt her hands are terrible. Her hands are cracked. They're bleeding. They're terrible in the winter. So this one was absolutely the number one winner for my mother. For me, I think my t I, I really do like the scent works too. I gotta say, I like the scent works, but I, I love Goose Creek. Um, this is the lavender vanilla. Goose Creek has um, no parabens, aloe vera, and vitamin E. I feel like the Goose Creek soap um, is pretty much this is a new one I just got. I've been using Goose Creek soap for a while. This pump's a little funky though. Why can't I get this out? There we go. It's working now. I do feel like the Goose Creek. Um, is a little bit, oh, right up my nose, is a little bit thinner than the Bath and Body Works and the Scent Works. You don't get that really tall um, foam pile. <laughs> However, the scent on Goose Creek is absolutely wonderful. The lavender, vanilla, oh my goodness. This one smells really good. And you can get Goose Creek at a really good price. They often do soaps for like $2.99, $3.99. They do good soap sales at Goose Creek, and they have so many different... Um, Products. I can't really read the back here. It says uh, clean, eco-friendly, I think, vegan. So if you're looking for a little bit more of a natural soap, I would try the Goose Creek. It's a really good quality soap. And then finally, I got to say, I am a tried and true Bath & Body Works soap girl. Um, Bath & Body Works soaps are $7.50. You can get them right now for some annual sale for $2.50. Usually during a good soap sale, we get them for about $3.75. Um, the Bath & Body Works soaps um, have vitamin E, shea extract, and aloe. Um, let's see here. A little bit of alcohol, a little bit of water, ammonium, laurel, sulfate, fragrance. I feel like this is a good antibacterial soap. I feel like it doesn't burn, but I feel like it definitely um, gets my hands clean. You can see here, I love the foam on the Bath and Body Works. When I use it, I, I'm just going to do this. Check it out. <laughs> it smells so good. This is the Almond Blossom. What is this? Almond Blossom. I love Almond Blossom. Um, but even, I'm not even using water here. I'm just, you know, wiping my hands off. And my hands don't even feel dry at all. They're not breaking out. I love the formula of the Bath & Body Works. I prefer the foaming soap over the gel. Um, the gel doesn't seem to rinse as clean. Bath & Body Works is like my number one all-time favorite soap. It rinses clean. But I got to say, Goose Creek, 
Set works are definitely like second and third. Method is definitely fourth. I don't think I would use the grocery store brands. I was kind of curious to see what the grocery brand, uh, grocery store brands had in, you know, in stock. And unless I'm in a pinch or I really need a soap, you know, I'm never going to run out of soap, you guys. <laughs> I'll probably just gift these off. Um, I'm going to say no to the grocery store brands pretty much. I'm willing to pay a little bit more um, to get a good hand soap because I am a, I'm a, I'm a hand soap connoisseur. <laughs> I love my hand soap. So anyway, um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know your favorites. Uh, let me know if I missed anything. This was a lot of fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.